So, if you've been paying any attention to Armour Free's new Apex expansion pack, then you'll be looking at this picture on the screen and be thinking, well, that's a V44X Blackfish. And you'd be correct, actually, this. Um, but a lot of people don't know how to fly it, and that's because it's, it, it, it classifies as a fixed-wing aircraft, but it's a VTOL as well, so it takes off vertically, um, etc. And what makes it difficult to fly in particular is the fact that um, the points at which these propellers, which you can see here, um, rotate forward is predefined by automatic mechanics in the aircraft and you need to know what these are to take full effect of this aircraft so without further ado I'm going to start the engines and when you're taking off there are two things you need to remember um, I'd always recommend going for a vertical takeoff and to do that you can press X which turns on your vectoring it's basically also hover if you've flown a helicopter before and I'd advise you rise first to about 30 metres obviously put your landing gear away as soon as you can Once you get to there, I'm at 35 right now, 36, 37, you can turn off vectoring and begin to point the nose down, keeping your um, azimuth forwards on. Now, the two numbers you need to remember here are 20 metres and 150 kilometres an hour. That's 20 metres 150. The reason being is that these engines will rotate forwards if you're going over 150 and you're above 20 metres there, you go, you see, 150 metres and 150 kilometers, sorry, and we're going for us. You see, if I go below 20 meters here, I'm at 17, the engines don't like it. That's because you are too low. You have to be above 20. I had this problem the other day, I was flying over the sea very low, and the, the VTOL simply wouldn't go into full forwards. But I didn't know the point, I had to be over 20 meters, and as a result, I crashed into the sea. A little tip there, you need to know that. 150 kmh and 20 meters off the ground, and you will get into this state here where you can fly it as a fixed one here. Now to land it, um, you, can, you can land as a, obviously a fixed wing, because you're effecting on, and you can come in like this. Or if you want to land it as a, as a plane, um, put your landing gear down, you need to remember um, a different number, and that is 220 kmh. At 220, you watch my speed now, 230, 225, and now you see these pros are going to start to come back up into the full forward position. I am quite high right now, so it's just a while, and there we go, they fully come up at 180 inch. That information you can then safely touch down within the nick of time. But yes, it is important to remember that when you're flying this aircraft, it functions like a helicopter until you get into that um, state of having both the engines pointing forwards. And that point comes when you're taking off at above 20 meters and 150 kilometers an hour. I hope you enjoyed that handy tip. Thank you for watching.